let's go ahead and talk about how to do uh, data analysis for this activity. So what I've got is I've got a little table set up here uh, for the data points, and I've got a column for the beaker, and the beaker is going to be in grams. I've got beaker plus TC for taster's choice, which is going to be in grams as well. And whenever you enter something that's got a plus or a math symbol first, you have to add an apostrophe right before it, otherwise it won't take it. And I did that for the water too. So this is going to be beaker, beaker plus taster's choice, beaker plus taster's choice plus water will go in this column. And then we'll figure out how to calculate the percent TDS and the refractive index. Uh, my beaker was 11.3. I then had 14.0 grams uh, with the taster's choice coffee. And I had 36.5 grams. Uh, and I should put grams here too. Then the next time I had 11.2. Um, 13.0 and 35.9. And I'm just going to go ahead and do all of my data in here. And, uh, yep. And you can see I didn't always hit the exact amounts that I wanted. I got pretty close. And my refractive indices were 1 1.3535, 1.3465, 1.3440, 0.3390. Oop. And uh, your values should have. Uh, four decimal places for all of them, like so. <clears throat> oh, and our sixth data point, which we don't have any data for, but we know that it's 1.3330. So uh, this is all our data uh, that we collected. And what we'd like to do now is we'd like to calculate our percent TDS coffee. That's going to be equal to mass of coffee divided by total mass times 100%. And the mass of coffee, so I'm gonna type in equals and open a parenthesis, is gonna be beaker plus coffee minus the beaker. That's gonna be divided by the total mass of everything minus the beaker, like so. And you can see color coded here, it's got blue minus red, purple minus red, and then there's a division symbol in there, and then it's going to be times 100%. Now we got way too many digits there, but I'm now going to click and drag to copy that formula on down like so. And now you can go ahead and plug that data straight into the table. This is the shortcut method, and this is the true power of Microsoft Excel. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make a graph. So, and we're only going to graph percent TDS versus refractive index in this order with refractive index on the right. I'm going to go ahead and insert a chart and uh, XY scatter plot only with points only. I'll let you make it a nice graph by inserting titles on the axes in a title for the graph. What I want to show you now is how to do a uh, trend line. So we're going to go down to do a trend line and we're not going to click on linear. We're going to go all the way down to more trend line options. And this time you can see it already assumes we want linear, which is true. But then if you keep going down here and sometimes it sets you up in these other uh, tabs, but you want the tab that looks like a little graph, bar graph there. And you keep going down and you can display equation and you can display the R squared value. And uh, beyond that, right, oh, and so then they appear on your chart. And so we've got the y equals mx plus b. That's the equation for the line. That's the line that we need. And that's the line, the equation that we want to write down. However, 
Let's see if it'll allow me to do this. Yep. If you double click on this little box here, it'll give you some options. And in particular, uh, we want to affect the number here because you see that 0 0.0019. I think we can get some more digits out of that, at least one. So I'm going to go from general to number. And then uh, it took me down to two decimal places, but we actually want five decimal places, 0 0.00188. That is a much better number. Uh, and the R squared, uh, I don't think, I don't know if the lab tells you to put it in. I'm going to put it in anyway. We don't, we, I'm happy to talk about it, but we won't be focusing too much on that. Let's see. So now my graph is done. And I've shown you both how to, uh, oh, and this is definitely the equation you want to write down. Because uh, uh, this is the equation we're going to be using for the rest of the course.